hi everyone in this video we're going to be installing the linux evolution version 2 rom now i'm a bit late with this installation as the rom has been posted quite a few days ago but still i thought i would make you installation instructions and a review as well so what are the highlights on this rom you may ask well to begin with this has a lot of fixes and improvements and suggestions added from the version 1 so yeah you can find most of the annoying bugs and problems which you have saw in version 1 fixed in this version and for some feature highlights you've got some voucher settings ui chooser which we're going to take a look at all of these things in just a bit once we start the rom so okay let's begin so as usual the first step is always to power off the galaxy ui so just turn it off wait for the small vibration that'll mean that the phone is completely powered off once it is off hold the home button the power and the volume up to boot into recovery mode there we go now in recovery mode you need to boot Kogomot recovery so if you are on the stock recovery like I am go to apply update from SD card and choose the CWM zip file which you have on your SD card if you haven't downloaded be sure to download the CWM zip file from the link in the video description to your SD card once you have downloaded that you may choose it from here simply flash it and you'll be in Kogomot recovery now once you're here you need to wipe data so choose yes then mount then wipe cache partition choose yes again to confirm once you're done with that the last thing which you need to do is you need to head into mounts and storage and just make sure that system is mounted mine is still if you want you can just mount there and sd card all of these things are just to be on the safe side so yeah once you have done all of this you may now head into a thousand from sd card choose it from sd card now locate the ROM zip file, it should be, here it is, Linux Able version 2 signed zip, here it is, choose that, and choose yes once again for this to confirm. So this will take a few seconds, so yeah, to not waste time I'll just be back once it says that installation is complete. And there we go, as you can see it says installation complete, now simply press the back button. It should take you to the main menu and from here choose reboot system now. So as usual the first boot may take some time so I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll be back once we are on the setup wizard. And here we are with the coolest black and white ROM. So this is the setup screen. So I'm just gonna quickly choose the settings here. I'm gonna skip all of these things here. So the Google account and so on. Date and time. And here is our launcher. Let's take a look if it supports landscape. There we go, it supports landscape mode as you can see. So you can use it in portrait mode and in landscape mode. So as you can see the launcher is using the stock touch with icons and also this is a five dock launcher. So actually you can add more things here if you like. You might have already noticed that how the icons are centered. So for example, here you can add a shortcut such as the camera. Simply go into the app driver, tap on the options, then go to edit. And from here, drag the camera icon to the bottom. And as you can see, now we have one more app here in the dock. So this is a really nice feature. You can add shortcuts here. You can also replace things. And as you can see, this ROM comes with a black and white UI, which most of you should already know that using black and white colors only and not colors such as these ones can, uh, can save a lot of battery life so yeah uh, high color ones can consume a lot of battery but these are a battery saver so as you can see everything is black and white starting from the context menus the notification screen and everything else so before we go any further let's investigate some of the simple things here for example let's take a look at what kind of wallpapers you get so here into wallpapers, wallpaper gallery, and these are the wallpapers, as you can see, again, black and white wallpapers, all of them have the Linux Evolution logo. So as you can see, all of them actually seem really nice. A great set of wallpapers added. Let's take a look at the power menu. As you can see, this is the power menu. If I select power off, let's see what I'll get. Okay, so obviously this is a must. We've got the reboot, fast boot, download, recovery, and shutdown options here. Really useful. Let's take a look at notification screen as well. So in the drag down, this is where notifications should appear. Now we may be wondering where the toggles are. You basically need to slide to the left like this. And as you can see here, you have the toggles and some shortcuts to things. From here you can access the slides, 
here is the about phone you can set your profile picture here to be cool in front of your friends you've also got toggles here like i said this is actually the first the main menu of the screen which we accessed earlier there are also the Lidroid toggles as you can see covered in black and white um, a shortcut button to switch settings we're going to take a look at these in just a bit and linux part shortcut as well so let's also take a quick look at some of the apps which you got in the app drawer and let's start off by the quok app so as you can see everything is revamped here in black and white let's take a look at the calendar it is also it has the colors changed as well as the gallery you can see how it has this black like uh, transparent background it's really cool looking let's take a look at the memo yep so i believe music player is also revamped not sure about gmail but it appears it may also be i will check that in a bit let's take a look at the radio app again it is in black and white my files yep so yeah the calculator and many other things which you should know and let's take a look at the task manager so when you won't press this is what you get here these are your recently opened files let's take a look at the task manager so this is what it looks like as you can see and lastly we're going to take a look at the dialer and how it looks like so yeah we've got our black and white dialer the recent chaos menu the contacts menu again black and white with a transparent background the messages so this is the keyboard as you can see looking good so yeah this covers the theming part now let us dive in into the settings menu for a bit now as you can see everything here is separated into tabs so in the first tab we've got our basic and default settings and as you can see wi-fi and bluetooth have uh, buttons here toggle buttons are next to them and they are actually working there we go as you can see how it moves from left to right and from right to left so yeah, to the bottom, you have your basic options, which you see in every touch with ROM. Then on the second tab, we've actually got the customization options here. We're going to take a look at these in just a bit. And finally, we've got information tab, which has the Linux Evolution logo. And a lot more things here, which shows your kernel, build number, basically the same stuff which you see in your touch with ROM. Let's take a look if there is an Easter egg. As you can see, this is the image which appears when you multiply tap on the Android version. So, as I promised, we're going to dive into the second tab, which is the customization options. So, let's take a look at the UI settings first. Now, the new addition to the version 2, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, is the UI chooser. It is right here. We're going to take a look at this in just a bit. So, okay, here we've got the owner profile. You can change the profile here, the picture, the name, and so on. You, you should already be familiar with that. Then we've got notification toggles, which you can arrange the order and so on. This has been met on many custom ROMs. Then we've got status bar to change the battery options, quark tweaks, battery bar. All of these, once again, you should be familiar with. So let's take a look at the UI chooser. This is the new feature to the ROM edit. So as you can see at the moment, we have got the classic UI. So you can actually switch to tiled UI. We're going to choose this one. It will then ask you for super user permission. So as you can see, it is currently applying the changes. And now let us reboot to see if it will change the notification screen type. So I'll be back once the phone has started up. And we are back. Let's take a look if the changes have applied. Let's take a look at the new toggle screen and there you have it as you can see we got a lot more options here now everything looks very neat so yeah the ui chooser works without any problems you just need to reboot the phone and you're done now let's go back into settings and enough with the ui settings let's take a look at what we have in walk screen so pretty much the same things here as you can see walk screen you can switch to whatever you want aosp the slider you should all be familiar with these once again as you can see the changes work then GUI settings, so here you can change the animations, the speed of the animations. You can actually use this option to speed up the performance a bit if you like. Then we've got launcher settings. Now uh, this is also a new addition to the version 2, this was not seen in the version 1. So 
to make settings work as you can see here it says reboot your phone so yeah do that and you can change the cover depth here concentration animation background cover application drawer sort by name how many uh, number of columns number of items so yeah you can customize your touch with launcher here really useful then down here we've got cpu control so yeah cpu control basically leads us to the cpu control app i believe it is no free cpu control so as you can see here you can change the governors the IO schedulers, the uh, quark frequencies and so on uh, but I have a stock kernel at the moment and as you can see I don't have any available as this ROM comes kernel free so we need to download a custom kernel if we want to use this then we've got CPU spy which uh, basically shows you how in most of the time or which frequency has been mostly used like I said I don't have a custom kernel so yeah it doesn't show information for me here so we're just gonna leave that and finally we've got development tools the testings and so on as you can see these are advanced options only use this if you know what you're doing and that concludes our installation and review video of the linux evolution version 2 rom now this video will not end so stay tuned do not close the video i have an important message for you hi so if you haven't noticed we are really close in reaching 200 uploaded videos if you haven't noticed this installation and review video of a custom rom is currently the 196th video so we are just four videos away from reaching 200 videos uploaded to the channel if you don't know who i am i am the guy behind the camera through all these 196 videos uploaded so far and to celebrate this i would first of all like to thank you all for your support for all your nice video comments all your nice blog post comments you have all been uh, really good feedback i thank you all at facebook at the blog and at the video channel thank you so much for your support if it wasn't for you we wouldn't have reached these videos and all of the, these posts on the blog so a huge thanks to you guys thank you and to celebrate as i was talking earlier i'm going to be doing a small giveaway now i'm not really a wealthy man so i cannot really give you away a cell phone but i can give you something like a gift for the galaxy y so uh the giveaway will be running as any other normal giveaway you just need to leave a comment but not on this video though just wait for the 200 video and we'll be doing the giveaway you will need to leave your comment there and uh, you need to subscribe obviously and so on i will explain more details when the time comes but for now the giveaway the gift will be an accessory for the galaxy y so it could be a case it could be a screen protector or it could be another battery so yeah, uh, for those of you who want any of these three things, you need to choose only one though. Uh, please leave a comment in the upcoming video. You're gonna have to leave a comment on what you want to get. So if you want a screen protector, just say screen protector. If you want a battery, just say battery. And if you want a case, you can just say case. I'll be then picking the winner randomly and I'll be recording it obviously so that people will not think that I'm cheating and the winner will be chosen. You will then need to send me a message and I'll be giving you the gift your address as long as you give it to me so yeah thank you all once again for your support thank you so much for the 200 videos which are about to make and the blog posts having people comment on my videos and on my blog posts is always an inspiration to post and to uh, record more videos once again thank you so let's get back to the rom so that is all everyone i hope you found this video useful i just showed you how to install the custom rom and i showed you a quick tour around the rom there are many more features obviously that i haven't shown so you can check this out for yourself this is definitely a very nice custom ROM, a very customizable ROM uh, which you can customize to your desires and it is also a huge battery saver as I mentioned earlier not only because it has black and white everywhere but that it also has a lot of tweaks applied to it so if you like this video please hit the like button down below and if you want to see more videos please hit this subscribe button next here on the right side once again everyone thank you for watching and I'll see you next time goodbye